Welcome, medical students, to today's microbiology lecture. In this session, we will be delving into the fascinating world of skin and soft tissue infections. These infections encompass a broad range of conditions, each with unique microbiological aspects, clinical presentations, diagnostic challenges, and treatment strategies. Our objective is to gain a comprehensive understanding of these infections, equipping you with the knowledge necessary to effectively diagnose and manage patients presenting with these ailments. Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, commonly referred to as MRSA, has emerged as a significant public health concern due to its resistance to multiple antimicrobial agents. In this topic, we will explore the microbiological characteristics of MRSA, including its mechanism of resistance and virulence factors. Additionally, we will delve into the epidemiology of MRSA infections, discussing risk factors and transmission routes. Finally, we will elucidate the current treatment strategies for MRSA infections, highlighting the role of antimicrobial stewardship in combating this drug-resistant pathogen. Streptococcal toxic shock syndrome is a rare yet severe illness characterized by a rapid-onset systemic inflammatory response. In this topic, we will delve into the pathogenesis of STSS, discussing the key virulence factors and immune responses involved. We will then explore the clinical presentation of this life-threatening condition, including the various manifestations it may present with. Furthermore, we will discuss the diagnostic techniques used to identify STSS and the management strategies employed to optimize patient outcomes. Community-acquired MRSA infections differ from healthcare-associated ones in many aspects. In this topic, we will explore the unique characteristics of CA MRSA, including its distinct antibiotic resistance patterns and enhanced virulence. We will also discuss the risk factors associated with CA MRSA acquisition and the various preventive measures that can be employed. Finally, we will analyze the treatment options available for patients infected with CA MRSA, taking into account the specific challenges associated with these infections. Necrotizing soft tissue infections, also known as flesh-eating infections, are rare but life-threatening conditions that demand prompt recognition and intervention. In this topic, we will explore the etiology, including the various bacterial pathogens commonly responsible for NSTIs. We will then delve into the clinical features that aid in diagnosing these infections, discussing the red flags and differential diagnoses. Additionally, we will explore the diagnostic techniques employed, including imaging studies and microbiological sampling. Finally, we will highlight the importance of early surgical intervention and the principles guiding surgical management in NSTIs. Ecthema gangrenosum is a cutaneous manifestation commonly associated with severe systemic infections, most frequently caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa. In this topic, we will delve into the unique presentation of ecthema gangrenosum, discussing the characteristic skin lesions and associated systemic signs. We will then explore the microbiology of this infection, including the factors that enable Pseudomonas aeruginosa to cause such devastating tissue damage. Finally, we will discuss the management strategies employed, encompassing both antimicrobial therapy and supportive care measures. Pyomitosis is an infection of the skeletal muscle that typically presents with localized pain, swelling, and systemic symptoms. In this topic, we will delve into the pathogenesis of pyomitosis, discussing the predisposing factors and bacterial pathogens frequently implicated. We will then explore the clinical manifestations of this condition, including the characteristic triad of symptoms observed. Additionally, we will discuss the various diagnostic techniques available, ranging from imaging studies to muscle biopsies. Finally, we will highlight the treatment strategies employed, focusing on the appropriate use of antimicrobial agents and the potential need for surgical intervention. Surgical site infections are a common complication following invasive procedures involving the skin and underlying soft tissues. In this topic, we will investigate the risk factors associated with SSIs, including patient-related factors and procedural considerations. We will then explore the various preventive measures employed, including preoperative, intraoperative, and postoperative strategies. Finally, we will discuss the appropriate management of SSIs, considering both antimicrobial therapy and potentially necessary surgical interventions. Cervicofacial infections involve the head and neck, including dental and oral infections. We will cover the microbes causing these infections, clinical presentations, complications, and treatments. Gas gangrene, or clostridial myonecrosis, is a serious soft tissue infection with gas production in tissues. This topic focuses on understanding the causative organism, Clostridium perfringens, pathogenesis, clinical signs, diagnosis, and treatment principles, including early surgical debridement and broad-spectrum antimicrobial therapy. We will explore chronic tropical ulcers, their unique characteristics, and challenges in management. We'll discuss their prevalence and investigate their bacterial, viral, and parasitic causes. 
Various aspects of clinical presentation and treatment options will also be covered. This section focuses on cutaneous abscesses, discussing their pathogenesis, clinical presentations, diagnostic techniques, and management options. We will cover factors leading to abscess formation, clinical signs, diagnostic methods, and different treatment approaches, including antimicrobial therapy and culture testing. This video focuses on antibiotic-associated skin and soft tissue infections. We will discuss the types, mechanisms, risk factors, clinical presentations, and management strategies for these infections. In conclusion, skin and soft tissue infections are complex and can lead to serious complications. It is essential to understand the microbiology, diagnosis, and treatment of these infections, and to use appropriate antimicrobials and preventive measures. Thank you for your attention, and keep exploring to enhance your knowledge.